idea. Next episode addresses just how fucked over he is. Alright. Alright, everybody, oh, welcome back. Evening. This yeah, is down. the Benjinator. And with us is. Mad Mike, your usual lunatic. Yep, he's our protagonist for the day, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is part two. So we've just uh, traveled to a strange town with a uh, woman with a roofie-powered crown, apparently. And uh, we've uh, been taking out mummies and dogs. It's been a good time. Uh, so yeah, we're just kind of trudging through the town of Narsh, which looks like an odd combination of uh, the darkest part of London and... Uh, Pittsburgh? <laughs> and we've got two Nazi stormtroopers and giant robots guiding us. Yeah, for Nazis, they got very, uh, yeah, they're very Viking-like. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> well, Nazis tried to be pretty Viking-like, but that's a whole other discussion. That's true. That's okay, true. shall we? Yes, let's go. Right, gonna be continuing to trudge through the town. It's so much fun. Uh-oh. And now you're going to be attacked from both sides. Ooh. Today we're going to demonstrate the flanking mechanic. Yep. The flanking mechanic. Also known as the pincer attack. But yes, our mummy friends are back. And the dog. And uh, apparently uh, Wedge is getting the, the shit kicked out of him at the moment, but not to fear. <laughs> Live, Wedge! Live, yeah. damn you! Don't you die on me! Fortunately, the heel force is pretty huge, so... <laughs> Giant <special>. robot nanotech <laughs> project! And West Virginia in the wind. I know, if, if, actually if you use the, uh, the bio blaster, it looks like it's coming out of a crotch. And now <laughs> I just have to press it to <laughs> know why. Well, of course. When you have something that looks like it's coming out of a crotch, it's, yeah. <laughs> Well, that was just inappropriate for everyone. <laughs> Especially the multicolored thing that was going on. That was just completely ridiculous. It's like some mother crap. <laughs> but as you can see, uh, Mike is armed with all sorts of elemental beams. Giant well, death ball! <laughs> yeah. In the next battle, uh, we're going to uh, demonstrate some, a few of the other ones that he's got. Yeah, Mike. Yeah. Oh, mystery woman gain a level. Yay! I don't have a name, but I have a level! I think one time I played this game and I gave her the chance to give her a name, I just kept her as six question marks. And that was fantastic. You, and then I could, and then I proceeded to name all the other characters six question marks and I didn't know who the hell was talking. <laughs> See, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, that... I'm that, gonna do something, that, that, but that, not that. <laughs> that may confuse people that may be interested in this game and haven't played it yet. They would just be completely lost. We must defend the mines! Alakazam! I'm fighting Pokemon! The thing is that... They don't really tell you what they mine here, either. No, they said so in the intro. Oh, coal. Yeah. yeah, that's right, coal. Vomamoth. Vomamoth. That's like Venomoth, but like a mammoth? I told you it was a goddamn Pokemon! Well, apparently, uh, Narsh is also, uh, the site of Jurassic Park, because they've managed oh, to bring back funny. an extinct, uh, species. Of course, this is a different universe, so who knows? They could have William, 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 William Mammoth's around. I haven't used that in a long time! I like that thing. It makes an eerie noise. This is the BASE CANNON! <laughs> oh, goody, they're all slapping each other. That'll buy me some time. Well... Mostly time to do this. Well, the guards, the guards just had a brief dispute. One of them was, uh, one of them found out the other one got paid more. Damn it, Jenkins! <laughs> well, <laughs> and that was one guard Wall is still on dead. Oh, now he's back to his senses. So apparently the Imperial troops have the power to, uh, initiate strikes amongst the, uh, the guards in Narsh. They're infiltrators. Hooray! Ah, uh, but now we're gonna kill them the old-fashioned way. Lightning! Lightning! So, Zeus? <laughs> nah, it's more plasma cannon even Zeus. Yeah, it doesn't really look very bolt-like, but... It feels well, uh, kinda dark side of the force, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Everybody gets a level! <laughs> and the potion! And a sack of gold! <laughs> Precisely. Love and affection, everyone! Whee! Now we're continuing up the ramp and 
Somehow we didn't crush those little things of wood. And there we They're go. They're not on the ground. <laughs> a new a mine shaft. Esper has been found in a recently dug mine shaft. <laughs> this looks recently dug. Yep. It's also the only thing we can reach with these damn robots. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, typically in a JRPG, if that's the only place you can go, it's probably the place you should go. Hey! Open air fire lighting in a coal mine! I know. Safety! They preserve it so well, too. And to your left is one of the most important things that you'll need in this game a save point. <laughs> sure. Yes, you can use sleeping bags and tents to restore all of your HP. Uh, the nice thing about this game is that if you die, it brings you back to the last place you saved, and you get to keep your EXP, which is so awesome. You lose your gold, you lose your equipment. But if you die, you get to keep your EXP, so that is awesome. What was I doing? Oh, right, save. Yes. Mike is going to demonstrate a save for us, which apparently kills guards. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm trying to save but the memory card kills guards. Go for number two. They're pretty much identical. There we go. Yay! There's a sarcastic guard that's pointing at you. Now, and now he's, he's laughing, laughing at the fact guys. that you succeeded with your save. It's so depressing. Fuck him, I guess. But now to continue through the, the magical mine shaft. Oh, right then. Where were we? Oh, oh yes. Coal! It's locked. I'll use the master key. <laughs> Bam. So that's why we brought the giant robots. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake. Dude! What the hell is a Welk? <laughs> Lawrence Welk? Is he a musician or something? I have I, I have no idea who Lawrence Welk is. <laughs> Apparently some old guy. There used to be a show called The Lawrence Welk Show. That was exciting. Um... Oh, no, it really wasn't. <laughs> it eats lightly. Mm -hmm. Don't attack the show. He died in 1992 in Santa Monica, California. <laughs> <laughs> Surrounded by people who hated him. <laughs> Precisely. Whee! Let's try this. Now that is a bold plan, sir. To use Exfer on the well. What does this do? It uh, shines. Nothing. It shines a light on him and then goes away. Oh damn it! Nope. So yes, if you're playing this game for the first time, this is a tutorial battle, which means that you should not attack the shell. <laughs> but it's a way to make do, it so you don't just continuously kick the X button. <laughs> Yay, healing. Come out, come out whenever you are, you asshole. <laughs> Later on, there's actually a pallet swap version of this monster that has a treasure chest in its mouth. It looks kind of cute. Cute. Yes. Massive air quotes. <laughs> Massive air quotes, yes. Okay, well let's try good old-fashioned missiles. Yep. <laughs> the missile is the most powerful attack that Mystery Woman has. Well, you're gonna hit oh, the shell, but that's... <laughs> Oops. Heal myself. He's, he's gonna dig a boss you, but that's okay. That's okay. Know why that's okay? Because I'm prepared for it. Yeah, dig a boss only hurts so much. Weeps. You know, you, they could just like walk by the giant, the, the giant snail. I think it's not that large. They could, you they, can't they, walk the by. They are is the rainbow shell. <laughs> well, if this were Pro Trigger, then that would be a concern. But also, that thing's like twice the size of their giant death robots. Oh yeah, but you know, you know that the enemy graphics are never to scale. Yay! Welk is dead. 
I think I broke it. Do I win? Well, as we discussed before, the defense budget for uh, the Narsh Guard is not that it's not that it's not that high. Yeah, I so it's gonna it's gonna take them a while to repair their snail. That's so not my problem. Yep. How do you repair a snail? <laughs> There are, Nano machines, son! There, there are ways, Thomas, there are ways. I'm just going to keep quoting Metal Gear <laughs> until I find a question it doesn't answer. <laughs> Have you even played Metal Gear? <laughs> oh, we got to fight the Repo Man Damn, again. Damn, I don't have a quote for that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, last time we got to fight the Repo Man and the, uh, the giant uh, blob of dishwashing detergent. The Repo Man! <laughs> He will steal your car and eat your soul. I should probably watch Repo. I heard it's good. Repo's pretty crazy, but fun. There's there's a lot of um, unsolicited gore in it. Nah. Yeah. And uh, Paul Sorvino, the guy that's the angry Italian guy in every single movie, who drives around in a limo. Not in every single movie. <laughs> He's also got Paris Hilton. And that's true, yeah. So the, who, continue, it, who continues to have no facial expression. Does she die in, like, every movie she's in? We well, found the Esper. In this one, in, a, in Repo. We yeah. found the magical Esper who's wrapped in saran wrap. Or ice. I still think it's cheap blue jello. No, that could be true. Like that crappy kind you find at buffets, and you're not certain what flavor it is, but you just don't want to touch it? Kind of looks like if a Spartan turned into a dragon and decided to freeze himself out of shame. Looks like Quizzical. Hey, that too. What, what's the matter? Do you know something we don't? <laughs> was Wedge asking Biggs that or vice versa? <laughs> I, I think Wedge was asking her that. See, I can imagine Wedge from Star Wars saying it in that exact voice. <laughs> what is it, Luke? Is that like Morse code? Is it flashing in Morse code? It is. No, 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 no. It's doing that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that. <laughs> oh, ah! Well, there goes Wedge. Uh oh. Only Biggs is left. <laughs> I can't live without my lover! I think they got banished to the Shadow Realm. That they did. Poor bastard. <laughs> you. Me! Feel the hate! <laughs> Taste the pain! Yeah, but this time she doesn't have her father to kill. We don't know that yet. <laughs> no, no we don't. <laughs> Considering we still don't even have a name for this crazy chick. And now the worst hangover ever. Well guys, um, the mystery woman is now going to be waking up in bed. Now, who is her name? Who is she? Why the hell was she walking around in magic armor? And where is she? We'll find out next time in part three of the Benjinator's Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I'm the Benjinator. This was Mad Bike. And we'll see you next time.